Hello, today I'd like to share my thoughts on my new Kilty Tuck 22 degree rated sleeping bag. I decided to go with this one. I researched for quite a few weeks actually and I wanted to find something that was pretty compact and pretty lightweight because I want to get more involved with uh, trekking and backpacking. This one, I'm six foot six, so you can see it's not terrible on compact size. I've had bigger ones in the past and for a a uh, temperature rating as low as this I think it's fine with um, how small it gets to I yes I would prefer if it would get pretty small but I'm a pretty big dude so I can't complain too much also I went ahead and bought the extra long one the long version of it that fits up to people that are six foot six I'm glad I did because when I took it out last month um, I maybe had an inch or two to spare and probably a couple inches. I'm 6'4", so um, it fit perfectly. So I'm glad I didn't go with the regular size. Um, as far as width goes, it fit perfectly. And it also has some other features in it, which I'll get to when I open it up and show you. So here is the Kelty Tuck 22 degree rated sleeping bag. Let me go over some of the features for you. One of the things I really like most about this sleeping bag is that makes it really unique. Um, it has a zipper towards the, the foot area. So if you get too hot, if you're using this in the spring, late spring or summer, early fall, and it's still a little warm, um, you can actually open this up to vent your feet out, let your feet hang out and give you some ventilation so you're not too hot, um, which I think is an awesome, an awesome feature that most sleeping bags won't have. So it's not gonna leave you uh, too hot or too cold when you're out there. Now another feature it has is right here when you open it up, you'll see a little pocket and you can keep your cell phone, your uh, an extra flashlight, whatever you want. So, and it has a little lip, so it's not gonna be falling out. You're not gonna lose it in the middle of the night. Um, so everything right there is right there and convenient. Comes with a little hood like most mummy bags do and a part you can cinch up tighter if it's cold. Um, I did take this out a month ago and it did get down to about 34 or 35 degrees that night. So that was a good opportunity for me to test the, the low temperature of this. Now this is rated 22 degrees. Um, I think and everybody's comfort level is going to be different. For me at 35 degrees it felt right about where, I'd, where I went. I really don't see myself backpacking or trekking anything less than freezing 32 degrees so for my purposes I think this will be perfect for what I need um, now if you're gonna be doing four season trekking you might want to go with a, a, a zero degree rated bag or beyond um, but those are also gonna be a little heavier and maybe not as compact as this uh, this one itself weighs right over three pounds 3.1 I believe and so it really doesn't add a lot of weight to my backpack and this in combination with my new sleeping pad I just got um, the big Agnes uh, I slept really well um, it really really kept me warm all night the only part that got slightly chilly was my face um, so make sure if you're going to do some cold weather camping or backpacking, bring a stocking hat, one that you can maybe even pull down over your face, which I did, and that, after that I was fine. And then also I was sleeping on kind of a slope, so my feet were kind of pushed against the bottom of this, which uh, de reduces the insulation every time you have pressure uh, laying on something. So uh, my feet did get, get slightly cold, but other than that, um, my body stayed warm, my core temperature, all, all of that was good. Um, now the only flaws I, I have found about the sleeping bag so far, like I said, I've only used it a couple times, but there has been a couple areas 
where at the seams I can see them in places starting to fray. So that slightly worries me about the longevity of this sleeping bag. I hope it's something minor. I mean, if it's just cosmetic, I don't, I don't care. As long as it serves its purpose, that's all I care about. Um, so that's one slight thing that worries me, but as long as that doesn't become a bigger issue, I think this is gonna be a very nice sleeping bag for the price that I paid for it and I see myself using this almost every time I go out. So um, once this has a lot, a lot of use on it, I might do another review video kind of giving you an update of where you can expect uh, longevity wise, how well this holds up long term. So uh, thanks for watching. If you like my videos, uh, please subscribe. If you like this video, please like this video. Um, if you have any questions, comments, leave them in the section below. And thanks for watching.